A Nampa home bursts into flames. The family gets out safely, but tonight they are mourning four of their pets and looking for a home for themselves and three surviving puppies. We're going straight to the big story with today's six on your side. A house fire in Nampa destroys a home, kills four of the family pets. It happened early this morning just south of the freeway and near Franklin Boulevard. In tonight's big story, Mike Vogel talked with the people who have lost everything. Well, Don and Michelle, they did lose everything as far as possessions go. Four puppies were killed, but on a positive note, the people who were living there are okay, and three puppies and their mommy are okay, thanks to the Nampa firefighters. I went, like, I looked over and I was like, oh crap, my house is on fire. Rosie White is describing what her house looked like this morning as it burst into flames and quickly spread. I thought it was like the kitchen, but then, like, flames was just, like, shooting out of my room. In the chaos, seven puppies and their mom, lab collie mixes. Four of them were found under the bed, the other one was found under a box inside the, um, right inside the front door. Firefighters even used animal oxygen masks and performed chest compressions. Four of them died from smoke inhalation, but we saved three of them and they need homes. These firefighters not only practice saving pets, they carry it out when it matters. They blend in, they're, obviously they're black, the puppies were black and uh, so it's a lot harder to find them. Also, they don't make a whole lot of noise. So these ones weren't. From the front, the house might not look so bad, but once you get inside, you can see it's a total loss. That really sucks. My house is gone. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do for a while. Rosie White lost everything. Everything she owned was in that room. That was my room. My whole room got scorched. It, like, there's nothing but a TV frame. Investigators have figured out where it started. Well, we do believe it started in a back bedroom. At this point, we're trying to determine the exact cause of the fire. But as devastating as this fire was, everyone is grateful for the lives that were saved. And Rosie told me this morning that she planned on giving away the other three puppies. They are also going to be getting some help from the burnout fund.